Hey, it's Jenny Procopi from chronicbabe.com and you're with me for another AWAP Wednesday. AWAP stands for as well as possible. And in case you've never been with us before, that is what I'm all about. That is my main goal is to help you kick ass and take names no matter how sick you are. And I know that you can. So speaking of AWAP, this is a concept that I created about a year ago, and I get questions about it all the time. So I thought today would be a great time for a refresher, and we're gonna dive deep into some examples of what I think AWAP is in my life, just to show you how it can work. So let me break it down for you a little bit. As sick folks, you know, when we hear get better or in an email maybe someone says hope you're well and that's really nice it's a great sentiment and for people who aren't sick it's a really lovely thing to hear but for those of us who are really sick it's really tough sometimes it tickles that little spot in us that knows that we're not ever going to be well in the conventional sense and maybe on that day we are actually really really feeling like crap but trying to do our best and when someone says hope you're well we're like darn it, I'm not. <laughs> and I got tired of hearing that and saying that to people and feeling like maybe I was hurting someone's feelings or reminding them of a struggle. And so I invented AWAP. So now when I sign off on my emails, I say, be AWAP. And AWAP can mean just about anything for anyone. That's the beauty of it. So here are some examples of what AWAP looks like in my life. AWAP means for me today that I had two doctor's appointments early this morning and I was running late so I didn't have time to dry my hair so it is in this messy bun and what else? Who cares? The doctors don't care if my hair is in a bun. I actually think it looks kind of cute and it saved me like 20 minutes of hair drying time. AWAP. <laughs> I love making my bed. For me, making my bed every day is a little mental signal that tells me that a great day is about to happen, that I won't need a nap, that I'll be very productive in spite of fibromyalgia. Now, even though I make my bed every day, there are occasional exceptions. Uh, last week I had a head cold and there were a couple days where I just had to leave the bed unmade or climb right back into the bed. And you know what? That is AWAP. So I'm working on a new quilt. Uh, I kind of am always working on a new quilt <laughs> lately. Um, I have all the little squares pieced together, like these squares are all pieced together. I have them all basted, which means I have the top layer and the quilty fluffy layer and the back layer. They're all put together and ready to go. They're ready to be quilted. The actual end result where you see these lines going down the pillow quilted. I am dying to do it. I'm super excited. I want to get on the machine, but I am pooped. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do like 30 minutes tonight and see how it goes. And I'm not going to do any more than that. And then maybe in a couple days I'll do 30 minutes more and I'm going to pace myself. Even though I want to dive in and do it all right now, I'm going to pace myself because that's about as good as I can do right now to take care of my health. So that is AWAP. The other day, I had a date to babysit for some friends, and then we had plans after, and I was trying to figure out how to dress, because for babysitting, I want to be really comfortable, because I'm going to run around after little kids, but then we're going out, and I want to look respectable, and I was really struggling, like, I'll, maybe I'll wear this, and then I'll bring this in my bag, or whatever, and my boyfriend, Joe, was like, why don't you just wear what's really comfortable for babysitting, and wear that to go out? I mean, who cares? And I was like, damn, you are smart. I keep you around for many good reasons, including that one. So um, I just put on my black gym pants <laughs> because they were really comfortable for babysitting. And you know what, for going out, they just look like black pants. Nobody has to know they have an elastic waist and they're the most comfortable thing I own. It's fine. That's AWAP. Last week when I had that cold, I had a couple days scheduled where I had to work while well, I wanted to work many 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 hours in the day but i just couldn't do it because i was sick i mean like acutely sick so 
I alternated. I did like an hour of work and then like, to be honest, like a three hour nap <laughs> and then another hour of work and then a little rest and then another hour of work. I alternated, I paced it out. So I got some work done, not all that I wanted to do, but I got something done and I took care of myself. That is AWAP. Okay, are you getting the picture? AWAP is what you make it. You get to choose what you're able to do depending on how you feel that day. AWAP is a moving target. We're not looking for perfection here. We're not looking to set a rigid standard by which you will operate at all times. AWAP gives you so much room to do whatever works for you in that moment. That is the beauty of AWAP. And that, my friends, is what being a chronic babe is all about. Doing as well as possible no matter what so that you can live a life that is fulfilling and fun and full of self-care and self-respect and success and joy and light and laughter and everything no matter how freaking sick you are i know that you can do it because i do it and thousands and thousands of you write to me and tell me that you're doing it too Okay, so how about you? I'm so curious to hear what AWAP looks like for you. So please, if you're not already at chronicbabe.com, hop on over to the blog, jump into the post for this video, and tell us your story. I wanna hear what AWAP looks like for you. That's really helpful for me and really helpful for our community because the more ideas we share, the more light bulbs are gonna go off over people's heads. Like, whoa, I can actually do that. So share your story, I'd love to hear it. If you don't want to miss a thing, make sure you sign up for our newsletter. I make announcements every week about new videos like this, other projects, interviews with experts, and I have a book coming out later this summer and I don't want you to miss the big release date. I'm going to have all kinds of fun stuff around that, contests and giveaways and all kinds of stuff. So make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Okay, babes, that's what I've got for you this week. I think that this might be a really good video to show other people in your life too. People who don't understand what you mean when you say you're a chronic babe or when you're trying to be AWAP, show them this video, give them some ideas. I think it'll be helpful. So with that said, go out there and be AWAP. Mwah. Beep. For me, it's a real meditative practice. It's a, it's, Loud trucks, loud trucks going by.